If there was one game this season that I was really looking forward to, it was this week's game, Jets versus Jaguars, number one overall pick versus number two overall pick, Trevor Lawrence versus our boy Zach Wilson. With the Jets having so many people on the COVID list, what's going to happen in this week's game? J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets! All right, welcome in. My name's Ryan. I'll be your pilot. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, I was really looking forward to this matchup. Number one overall pick versus number two overall pick. I had it penciled in on my calendar for the entire season. I wanted to see our boy Zach Wilson have what could be a little bit uh, of a revenge game for him going number two overall instead of number one. And with everything coming out over the last few days, it seems like it's going to be a lot harder. Not only does our head coach have COVID, not only do 17 of our players have COVID, but this team has given our goddamn content creators COVID. Poor Richie from Jets Media dealing with the COVID over there, so hopefully he's doing well uh, as well. But man, this is really frustrating because I was looking forward to this game and trying to figure out uh, what could potentially happen with either draft picks, with, you know, the, 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 the whole back and forth of Trevor versus Zach, the whole heat that's been on Zach basically this entire season for, for lack of wow performances, I guess. And I just want to see some competent football. Now, Ron Middleton is going to be our head coach for this game. He has spent time with Robert Sala dating back to his time in Jacksonville when Robert Sala was the linebackers coach over there. Uh, so I think this is a really interesting move because it's not someone I would have thought they'd have put in the head coaching um, spot. And apparently, according to Ron Middleton, he was not told why he was put in that spot. But I think, you know, I think Sala will eventually come out and, and talk to us about it. But I do think that there was very much the idea of LaFleur, hey, you focus on the offense and everything going on there. Boyer, you focus on the special teams and everything going on there. Ulbrich, you focus on the defense because, let's be honest, we got to do that. <laughs> and then, you know, you kind of, I don't want to poo-poo on the tight ends, but for what it's worth, our tight end crew probably is not the strongest, or at least they've been around a little bit of time. So maybe there's uh, not as, as critical of a need to have the tight ends coach focused on them uh, during the game. So it's going to be interesting to see what winds up happening here. Now, does Trevor Lawrence outduel Zach Wilson? Because I will be honest, I just want to see good football out of Zach Wilson because I don't want to go through this entire next week saying, oh, Trevor Lawrence is the best rookie quarterback or, you know, whatever, just crapping on the Jets and everything. I, I just don't want to see that. But it brings up a very interesting situation for Jet fans because a lot of us were already looking at the NFL draft and with 17 players out, guys like... Michael Carter, Elijah Moore, Elijah Vera Tucker, Foley Fatukasi, John Franklin Myers, Justin Hardy, Hampson Nasiraldin, Neesman, Smith, Cashman, Dawkins, Jackson, Smart, and Smith. Vincent Smith and Jeff Smith. So both. <laughs> both Smiths. Um, with those guys out, some of these are practice squad players. Some of these are, are active players. Some of these are players that are on the IR. So there's a little bit of a mixed bag here. It's not necessarily all 17 starters that would be playing. Um, but I think the concern is that there's so many guys that have, have hit this protocol over the course of the last day or two that you worry that there could be more coming down the pipeline. Uh, now, maybe I think I heard after um, reading one of the articles that Salah could come back as early as Thursday if things kind of break the right way for him. Uh, but either way, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what Middleton can can do out there and how he has prepared uh, the team, because like he like. Middleton has said, I'm not here to, to do anything crazy, do anything drastic. I'm here to keep the ship going in the right direction and kind of hold down uh, hold down the fort until, until Robert Sala comes back. So it's going to be interesting to see nonetheless. Um, but guys, I want to hear what you have to say. Let me know in the comments down below what you think goes on. Are you looking forward to the draft pick? Because now this probably means that we have a little bit better of a shot uh, at, at landing number one overall. Or does this game wind up getting moved? Like we saw some of the games last week. We had games played on Monday and Tuesday that weren't supposed to be played there. So maybe that's the direction they wind up going if more tests keep coming up positive. I don't know. Either way, I hope everyone's safe. I hope you guys are safe. Hope you have a very happy and Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Uh, if I don't see you before the uh, before Christmas, yeah, have a Merry Christmas. I would like to make more videos, so I might. So we'll see. But that's my, my cover, my bases. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, go Jets. J -E -T -S, Jets, Jets, Jets!